What's up, beautiful people? In this video, we will be framing out the chicken coop, the hoop house chicken coop, which I'm also excited about. So make sure y'all stay tuned, take notes, because it's about to be a fun ride. Let's go! What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones. Here. You're back again for another video. And in this one, I am also excited because we are going to be building. I say we because I have a great friend right there. He'll want to be on camera, so his back is already turned. However, nonetheless, with it all, we will be building the hoop house for the chickens. And it's honestly our chickens, not even for those that are watching, but his and ours because when I went on vacation, he held them for a week and he did also very well uh, with them, which I'm not surprised. Great man. But nonetheless, with it all we are going to be building and i'm actually going to do it in three parts largely because when i was looking up how to build the hoop house chicken coop there were different dynamics that i wanted to learn and see about and i wasn't able to see it you know in like the same situation however doing it in three parts you'll be able to see how to do the frame how to protect them and then how to introduce your chickens to the coop once you have it all finished so in this one we will be framing it out and then uh make sure y'all stay tuned for the other ones that will follow actually this week this whole week is going to be all about the chicken coops but nonetheless with it all let's go ahead and get started and i will have a detailed list of the materials down in the description down below so if you need to know that information it'll be there so let's go all right three inch screws three all right oh you're talking now you want you want to talk on camera no, i'm just saying put it three in you, you doing other inch i will i knew you weren't gonna be prepared so i had to be prepared All right, guys, so when you get down to this point, what you want to do is to purchase some of this here um, galvanized hanger strip. Galvanized hanger strip. It comes in a roll like so. And so with this roll, what you're gonna do is unpeel the roll, and then we're gonna connect them. I'm gonna do it like every four, which some people just say you only need like two, but you know, I like security and making sure everything is secure. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like to go ahead and fasten this to that to keep it steady so like i say you just want to roll this roll out i wanted to show you all because i'm honestly learning as i'm going and so i'm going to cut at the big holes because i'm going to use the smaller ones to uh clamp down or excuse me to use the screws to be able to um secure the scenario the uh cattle panel to the wood itself man these things are tight This is the part that they don't show you on some of those videos. But essentially what you want is for this part is going to go over the cattle panel itself. And you'll use these holes for the screws. And uh, I'm using just some small one and one fourth inch screws to do the job. So again, I'm going to show you all, all of that. Making this as comprehensive as possible. Like I said, it's nothing like watching a video feeling confident but then also having doubts and questions behind what they did how they did it and how it turned out so i'm gonna make sure i show you everything okay all right now let's go attach these bad boys so i can show you what i'm talking about so I'm actually gonna use this two by four as a leveler, just to make sure the cattle panel is halfway down the piece of the wood. And just keep everything uniform as much as possible. It's the goal that I'm going for. All right, so I'm gonna start up high as far as drilling is concerned. All 
all right great people so now we have everything clamped off at the bottom as you can see there boom 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 and so it is pretty sturdy let me just give it a little rock show y'all my little hand with a little rock it's pretty sturdy but we're gonna go ahead and tie things up a little bit more and that is what these here braces are for i'm gonna show you all how we are gonna mark those off and cut them as well as put them to where they need to be going to the frame just which will uh sure up this here cattle panel itself right uh because where it is right now you know it's cool but with the frame being what the frame is going to do it's going to make everything nice and sturdy and secure so stay tuned At this point, great people, we are now doing the braces. So the brace is gonna go from the corner to the here middle situation and the same on that side, making everything sure and firm and secure. And so I'll tell you about this as well, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, in between time, what we did use is the same hanger situation that we used at the bottom for the top. And so we screw it on that side, screw it at the top, same as here, screw it there, and then screw it on top to make it nice, secure, and firm. So it's already shoring up itself with just that. Now, what we did for this center area is where the nesting boxes will ultimately rest on. So we went on ahead and put a bracket there so that when we do build the nesting boxes, it'll have something to rest on. And of course, we'll do the you know furthering of the securing for that. But nonetheless, in the meantime, in between time, that is what's going on here. And so we're gonna have wood on the back area. But nevertheless, we're gonna finish framing this one out here and then move on to the front door area. Come on, Frankie. I'm gonna work them, man. So we have the frame nice and done now in which it took a while i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm gonna say it probably took at least i'm gonna say about four hours at least four hours you want to dedicate just for the frame aspect of things but now we have everything situated for the front and then also for the back as we said which the doors are already there first time doing doors i would recommend you to use one inch by four inches right frankie 
one by four because he said what I bought was too small. I think it was one, a quarter by two or something like that. But nonetheless, spend a little extra money and uh, get bigger for the frame itself. Um, and just make sure everything is leveled and screwed accordingly, okay? Pilot holes is the way to go. We did a lot of pilot holes before we did any type screwing. That's just to keep everything from splitting because when you do get the pressure treated wood, it is a lot softer, which will lead to some splitting. But if you do the pilot holes, you will not have that problem, okay? All right, so now we have the frame nice and ready, nice, done, and secure. As you can see, we're kind of go ahead and getting starting on the secure side of things, which is part two of this here, uh, Coop house yeah it's, it's it's a long day already but nonetheless with it all with it all being said the frame is done i'm happy and so hey make sure you stay tuned for part two or come back for part two and uh or if this is what you wanted to see this is how you get it done if you have any questions definitely let me know in the comment section below we did it i done it and so i can definitely help you and talk you through whatever it is you did not see so with that being said, oh, oh, now he getting into it, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Love you. Peace.